Hi, welcome to our first go at having a tutorial uh, with the BBC Microbit. Uh, today we're going to show you how to, um, hopefully just have a bit of fun with it. Um, so today we're going to show you how to make it into a dice. So let's shake this. If I don't have a battery fly everywhere. You should see the number changes to a two. And a six. So we're going to show you how to do that using um, the online BBC Microbit code um, writer. So when you first come to microbit.co.uk, you click on create code, it comes up with this window. We're going to use the block editor, which looks a bit like um, uh, Scratch. Yeah, the lots of you probably use at school. This is quite an easy one to write. How long do you reckon it took us? Five minutes. Five minutes. Uh, Jasmine is 11. 11, so it gives you an idea of the kind of things we can do. Um, and so we're going to start with an empty thing here, um, but we're going to start thinking about what a dice really is before we start writing our program. So, what does a dice do? It randomly picks a number. Picks a number, okay, between? Between one and six. And how does it do that? How do you know what number it's picked? You shake it and it shows okay. the number. Um, so we're going to start off doing an easy version of dice without worrying about the pattern on a dice. We're just going to show the number. Um, but the first thing we need to be able to do is do the first thing you do with the dice, which is to shake it. Shake it. So, Jazz, do you want to show us how to find the shake? Um, so on the left hand side, you've got all these things you can choose from. I think shake's in input. Yeah. So on shake, we drag that onto the area like you do in scratch. And we want to do something on shake. So what do we want to do? We want to randomly pick a number. We want to randomly pick a number. Okay, so if you go into maths, there is pick random. You'll see it says zero to four. A lot of languages start counting at zero. Um, obviously, we want to show one to six, so we're going to have to yeah. do a trick there. So it, zero to five is still six numbers. Yeah. So we're going to get zero to five to start with, so change four to five. And how do we fix it so that the number we actually get is either one, two, three, four, five, or six? We add one. We add one, okay. <laughs> so if you go to maths on the left, uh, and these are just examples you can drag in. So it says zero, zero at the moment, but we're going to drag our random number into one of those bits. And we're going to add one. one. Okay, so now we've, we've got the bit at the top that says on shake, and we've got this pick a random number, but they're not joined together yet but we want to display the random number on the microbits little LED display here. Uh, LED stands for light emitting diode. It basically just means little bulb. And the microbit has got a row of five, five columns. So you've got 25 little things you can draw stuff on. Um, but we're just gonna start by using a built-in thing which shows a number. So I think it's in basic, isn't it? Yeah. Show number at the top there, and drag that into the on shake bit straight in. And where it's got two at the moment, we're going to put our random number instead. So you pick that and drop it in there. So on shake, show a random number between zero and five and add one. So show a random number between one and six. Uh, we don't actually have to put it onto the micro bit to try this out. We can just click on the run. And then on the right hand side here, you see this little picture of a micro bit. It like becomes a little virtual micro bit. So if we click on shake, we get a six, a three, a two, one, a six. <laughs> so it's already doing what we need, um, but it doesn't really feel much like a dice at the moment. And obviously that is when we're clicking this button to shake on the micro bit, you really will shake it about and it will do it. Um, so we need to change this program. Now we've got it basically working. So it displays uh, what a dice displays. Do you want to show people how you draw your own thing on that display? Okay. So you're going to basic and then there's this block that says show LEDs and you can just click on any of these um, little show one. places and you just click and it does a tick. So what happened, what displays where you have the tick? What happens on the actual thing here? Um, it shows it, one of the LEDs lights it up. It turns the light that you've got ticked. Okay. Um, so we that's how you show one but we've got to do something a bit clever where Depending on what number is chosen here, we show a different picture and we'll have six pictures, yeah? Um, so we've got to do a couple of different things here. We've got to introduce uh, a new thing called variables and then we've got to look at something called logic. 
right, so we look at the variable to start with, because that's nice and easy. So we're just going to drag this show number out to start with, because I'm not going to use that bit for a minute. Um, and variables are in here. They're basically a way of saving something you do in a program, like a calculation or something that has happened in the program, and then using it later on, usually using it more than once. Um, and so we're going to pull this um, set item. Item is just the name of a variable they've got. We're going to create our own one, and we're going to call it something sensible like a uh, random number. So we can call it whatever you like. You could call it Fred if you really wanted to, but it's handy to call it something that means what it really is. So then you can remember later when you have a look at your code. Um, so we've got set random number, um, but we've got to set it to something now at the beginning of ours. So we want to set it to the thing we worked out earlier, which is a number between zero and six. So set random number to be zero and six, setting our little variable. And we're going to do that straight away after shaking. All right. Yeah. And now we've got to look at this logic stuff. Um, so the block right at the top there is this if block, um, and it can do a number of things. But what we're going to say is if the variable called random number is a particular number, so Jasmine's gone into variables, she's chosen random number, we need to say if random number equals a number. So we're going to have to use something in maths and kind of chain these together. So there's one in there that says equal. Oh, it's in logic. Oh, it's in logic. It's in logic. Yeah. We always forget that, don't we? Yep. Uh, the middle one. So we're going to say it's if, if zero equals zero. Just put that down somewhere for now. Okay. And we're going to drag our random number into one of those boxes. So if random number equals, and what's the first number on the dice? One. One. So if random number equals one, we need to connect that together so that it is now if. If random number equals one, and in, in the do bit, you need to, what do you need to do? You need to drag the show LEDs. Cool. And then select the Okay. Sign. And at the moment, this is kind of disconnected from the rest of our code, isn't it? So we need to connect it into that on shake bit after we've chosen our random number. So if, so on shake, yep. set our variable random number to a number between zero, uh, one and six, and if the value of random number that we've just worked out above equals one, then show this picture. Yeah. And we can get rid of that show number two bit, can't we? You just drag it off to the side and it goes. Now what have we got to do? How do we do the rest of it? How do we do the next number like two? Um, you just click on the overall block, which is if and do, and then you right click and click duplicate. And then you just change the numbers and the signs according to which number it is. So you just put another one that said, so if the number was two that it chose at the beginning, it would get to if random number equals one, and what would it do? Um, it would pick the one picture that for one. So if, it, but if our number was set to two, it would ignore that first one, wouldn't it? Because yeah. it isn't one, but it would go to the second one and it would go random numbers two and it equals two, so yeah. Yeah. And we just carry on doing that all the way to six. You kind of need to scroll around in the editor and you can zoom in and out with your mouse button or the little buttons down the bottom there. Uh, so three, and we'll draw the dice symbol for three. If you can't remember what the dice symbol is, just go grab a dice, you've probably got one in the game, and it will remind you. Or you can just copy. Or you can copy symbols. ours, yeah. yeah. So it's quite simple to kind of duplicate these big blocks of code, makes it quicker. And for each one you're just saying if it's six, draw this picture, if it's five, draw a picture. So that should be everything. Do you want to check over it? Yeah. So we just kind of read it through. Sometimes it's good to just read the code out loud. It helps you check whether you got it right. So on shake, set our variable called random number to a number between one and six. That's how we're kind of cheating with that bit. If what we've just calculated random number is equals one, then show this. If it equals two, then show this. If it equals three, show this all the way down to six. So that should work. Um, we can program that onto micro bit, but actually this little thing on the right hand side is like the little emulator we showed you earlier. So if you just click run, do you want to shake it? Yeah. Six, three, nice and easy.
Yeah. Um, and we thought this was pretty much enough, but we thought um, because a micro bit doesn't really look anything like a dice, um, it might not be obvious that, that it is a dice. Um, so we thought we'd better show a message telling people what to do. Um, so do you want to do that? Okay. You go into basic and then click the show string and write your message. Like, shake me. And we don't have to connect this to the rest of the code because <coughs> this should just display straight away. It doesn't need to wait for anything. Okay, let's program it onto the micro bit. Um, so you can see actually the micro bit at the moment is connected to a battery and we'll show you reconnecting that in a moment. But I'm going to unplug the battery and then I'm going to plug it into the computer um, using a micro USB cable. Now your micro bit probably came with one, um, but it's what charges a lot of mobile phones. So any Android phones or tablets usually charge with these. We plug it in, you hear the computer went beep and it opens up um, the micro bit on the computer. Um, opens up a folder just like a, a USB drive that you might save things to. And, and all we need to do is get the code from the code editor into um, this folder and then it will program the micro bit. So if we go into here, when you kind of have finished your code and you want to run it, you do something called compiling. So this is what this button here does. When we click it, it's just going to download a file onto our computer. Hopefully. There you go. And then you can open the folder. <coughs> And then we're going to copy that onto the micro bit folder. So you can either right click on it and do copy, or I like the keyboard shortcuts because they're quicker if you're doing it all the time. So hold down the control button, select the file, hold on the control buttons and click C on your keyboard. And then go over to the micro bit folder and either again right click and do paste or control and V. And while you're programming the micro bit, you'll see it will be flashing an LED on the back that tells you it's still programming it. When it goes solid, it's finished. There you go. And it. If sorry. we turn it over, it now says, "Shake me." It's upside down, though. It's upside <laughs> down. Okay, but we're we're gonna. It's no good having a dice attached to this, really, is it? We want to attach it back to the battery. So I'm gonna <coughs> unplug that. You can just unplug it. You don't have to turn anything off. And we got a battery pack with ours. Hopefully, you have. But you can order one online. Uh, we got our micro bit and our battery pack from the thepiehut.co.uk. Um, and you'll see on the micro bit, hopefully, you can see this white um, connector in the corner. That matches the connector on the end of this battery pack, and there's just two normal batteries inside this. Um, and you've got to connect them together. They can only go one way, so don't worry about that. And it's it's a low voltage. It's not like connecting it to the mains or anything, so you're not going to hurt yourself if you do anything wrong. So if I hold this, and Jay, you can try and get it in. And there's a little line down the bottom of it, and you can see that lines up with a line in the bottom of the of the micro bit, you probably can't see on this, but on your micro bit you'll see. Uh, and you push it in and it kind of goes click, you have to push it all the way, probably a bit further. Oh yeah, you kind of feel it go click, you probably wouldn't have heard it then. <coughs> but it now says, shake me, hopefully. Yeah. So we're going to play a game and see who can get the highest score. Uh, and who, I think whoever gets the highest score has to go and tidy their bedroom. So if I get the highest score, I have to go and tidy mine. And if you get the highest score, you have to go and tidy yours. You ready? Okay. You sure? I don't want to look. I got a one. <laughs> it's either going to be a draw or I'm hoping for a draw. I'm easily going to. All right, hold it up for the camera. Let's go. Okay. Oh! I'm going to go and do that then. But thank you for watching our tutorial. Uh, that's the first one. We might do a bit more on this and try and make it do things like fade between the numbers or kind of cycle through all the numbers as it's doing it. Um, 